The example we're going to analyse is from my document, Assessing Two Means. It's number seven in a series for a health informatics uh, medical statistics course. You can download it from my website. In section four of that document, using the independent samples t-test, we have an example here. An example consists of two groups of randomly selected and randomly allocated arthritis sufferers. Um, one group tried a new diet, experimental group, and the control group just carried on as usual. And then after a certain period, we assessed their pain levels. So we have pain levels for both the um, experimental group and for the control group. You can find out more details about the experiment in the document. Right, we're going to analyze the data three times. Firstly in SPSS, then R commander, and then in R. We'll get the same results all three times, but they'll look slightly different. Right, so here is our data in SPSSS. So we have the group result there. So there are our 20 results. And then we have what's known as a grouping variable here. One and two. We look at grouping, um, the variable view. We can see our two variables. As I say, one is the result, the one is the grouping variable. Um, in the grouping variable, if we click on there, we can see we have two values. One equals intervention group, and two equals the control group. These are equivalent to factor levels in R. So, the first thing we would do is obviously just look at the data. So, if we go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. Result is our independent variable and grouping variable is a factor list. We'll have both statistics and plots. OK. So, we find out the number in each group intervention group and the control group. That's taken from the, the value labels we set up for that variable. Then we have results for the intervention group. We have their median of 6, minimum of 1, maximum of 22. Then we have here a median of 10 compared to 6 there and a minimum of 5 and a maximum of 21. But if we go further down and actually look at the box plots, which are my particular favourite thing. We'll see here that the intervention group has a median score, around about six, as we said, and there is the control group. Overall, notice higher levels of pain score. But the interesting thing is that case number four is way up. It's the highest value in both groups. So one would probably go back and check that value. Right, now how to analyse the data. Um, go back to the data sheet view, then analyse, compare means, independent samples, t-test, Right, so we know that the result is what we call result. Grouping variable, it's a grouping variable. To find the groups, we know what they are. We gave one, two. I think one was treatment, two was control, but we'll find out from the output anyway. Continue. Okay. If we look down here, here are the results. So notice we've got two sets of results. One for if we assume the variances are equal and the other one assumes that the variances aren't equal between the two groups. If we look actually back at the box plot, you can see that interquartile range. Um, so you can see that probably the control groups have got more spread out values than our intervention group. 
And if we went back and probably looked at the standard deviations there, we can see there actually isn't that much difference. Also, if we look at the results, we'll see that the two-tailed p-value is very little difference between the two and their confidence interval. To find out more about what these values mean and how to interpret them, look at the handout. Hi, so we can start by looking at our commander first. So to load the R commander graphical interface, we just type in library R CMDR and it loads the R commander interface. Right, so we want to get some data, we want the same data we had before, we'll use the data we had in SPSSS. So import data SPSSS we'll call it my data set, my data frame. Okay. And so now we've installed the um, actual data into my data frame. It says there. To check it, just press on view data, and there it is, same as we had in SPSSS. Right, statistics, means, independent samples, t test. <laughs> We've only got two variables, and it's picked the right variable for both. We have possibility of setting up different confidence interval levels and whether it's a two-sided or one-sided or we choose two-sided p-values they should be to mark a reason. You can have to run the um, actual test twice to get the values for if we assume they're equal variances or we don't have that as an additional assumption. So we'll say no and OK. There is our result. So we have 95% confidence interval of minus 10 to 0 0.8. There's our t value, associated probability 0 0.088. And there's the mean in the intervention, immune to control. Returning back to my two samples independent t test uh, handout, uh, section 4, you'll notice that the third page contains three screen dumps from the R console. If we look at that, we can see how to carry out a t-test in R without our commander. We have one vector which is experimental results, another vector which consists of our control results, and we just use a simple command t.test with the vectors and then if we want to use the t-test that assumes equal variances within each group, we just type var dot equal equals true. If we wish not to, then we just miss that last command out, as it assumes R that um, the variances aren't equal. We can also carry this out slightly differently in R if we don't want to use um, two vectors, each with the results, the different groups. Here, I have the, all the results in one vector, and then I have a group in var, just as we did in SPSSS. Um, this time, the t-test, same command, same command, but I just use the results, squill, tilde, that's called, group var. Basically, what this is doing is carrying out analysis, treating that as the dependent variable and that as an independent variable. Two levels. So that's about it. Um, if you don't want to say anything more about the results, you'll find more details in the various documents. What have you. Um, the important thing is to realise that R is usable and very easy once you get the hang of using R Commander. 
So what have we done? We looked at how to carry out the independent two samples t-test uh, using SPSSS, R commander, graphical interface to R, and R itself. Um, we haven't looked at the assumptions which are very important. Again, look at the PDF, that's vitally important. Also, we haven't talked about effect size which is equally important. Don't get hung up with the p-values, think of effect size as well. Um, look in the PDF chapter. That's about it. Bye.